I have been a practicing graphic designer, uh, I hate to admit it, for 40 years. I, I think over the years, if I analyzed the way I work, is I'm absorbing information, but there are associations I'm making through all the experiences of my life in relationship to what's on that brief. And what I'm doing is making associations that come out in a specific solution. And, uh, about 12 years ago, I began working uh, with environmental graphics. Very often, the environmental graphics can make a building feel, for want of a better explanation, less generic. There are different parts of, of public space design. Some of it is inf purely informational. It's wayfinding. It's, it's telling somebody how to navigate a building. Some of it is inspirational. Um, it uh, lets people feel what the spirit of the space is. Sometimes architects don't really build that in. They may build in, build in formalistic statements, but they um, may forget the basic personality of a, a particular institution. And there's a movement in New York City in lots of charter schools and public schools to enliven them, to get rid of that you know, sort of depressing public facility beigeness. And the school really, really succeeds in that. This was the painting, and it's a painting of New York, Queens, and um, uh, Staten Island. So we took the painting, and we folded it into these sections, and the sections actually made up the interior of the atrium space. They were broken up into these amazing tiles. The paintings were overpainted on, on fabric and canvas, so it actually had layering depth. So when you walked into the space, you felt like you were walking into this crazy construction. It was like a very low-tech, sort of goofy, mural-like uh, position. The role of graphic design is even more important because there's, in a digital age, there's far more communication. Uh, a large-scale project for Bloomberg was to create this sort of walking identity to sort of transmit their personality. So here's the actual building. Stairwells had big numbers depending upon the height of the stairwell. So the tallest stairwell had something where you saw the whole number, and the smaller stairwells, the numbers were wrapped around. And we did everything in the building in that capacity where there were a series of layers, because one thing Bloomberg had was a lot of transparency. You could see through everything in Bloomberg headquarters. Right now, I think that everybody is concerned purely with the organization and structure of information because what the computer can do is, is really quite limited, particularly if you're talking about web communication where you're, you know, you have the HTML problem and how intricate and interesting can typefaces be at this point, but that will all change. So, you know, it's, it's still at its infancy. I, I think that, you know, technology right now, if you're talking about internet communications, is sort of like a wind-up telephone and we haven't even begun to see what we can do. We'll be not talking about technology, and then we know we've really entered the age.